Hi, I'm Jennifer Gilmore, author of We Were Never Here, and here's some fun facts you might not know about. I got a Snoopy when I was five years old, and I loved him so much that I slept with him until I was well out of college. But my sister's gonna be like, it was until you were 20, so. <laughs> I've had a lot of dogs. Most recently was Maddie, my Springer Spaniel. She appears as Mabel in the book. Um, I've also had a huge uh, St. Bernard named Speedy, and a tiny little dog, a Karen Terrier named, appropriately, Toto. Um, but now I am a dog person. For my first job, I was a camp counselor. I was a co-counselor of the Chipmunks, the youngest children, and it was our job to get them from swimming to drama to arts and crafts. Once I lost a child for an entire morning. It was very stressful, but she was fine. I have always been afraid of the dark. I had my bedroom in the attic when my sister was born, which terrified me. I could not watch The Wizard of Oz until I was 16 years old, and to this day, will not see more. I collect matryoshkas, or nesting dolls. My dad brought this one home for me from Russia when my sister was born, so I was about five years old. I love how you never know how many are inside, and they keep going and going, kind of like that first one. I keep finding them everywhere and picking them up, and they appear in a lot of my stores. Once I got lost in a gorge in France. I was hiking with my parents' friend, and we couldn't get out, and we had to swim through snake-infested waters and mountain climb up mountains, and I ended up in at a hotel where the villagers told me I survived because I had a space between my teeth, which was good luck. Fortunately, the space is closed up. <laughs> I used to have a radio show called Talking Fiction, and the best interview I did was with Alan Ginsberg, a famous music poet. Um, and afterwards, I asked him to sign his book of poems for me, and he drew a beautiful skull and cotton.